What is up, loves? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Naomi. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So as promised in my last review video on Emerge Hair Care, I will be testing out these styling products for you guys and also for myself. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get my hands on the butter that they have, so I just have the leave-in and the styling gel. And today we're going to be doing a wash and go with these two products. So if you are new here, make sure you go ahead and subscribe down below. And if you're not new here, hey girl, hey, let's go ahead and hop into this video. Okay, so we're going to start off with this back section and my hair. So it's pretty kind of wet. It's still wet. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some more water to my hair. This is warm water. Um, I'm trying to make sure I get as much definition as possible when it comes to these wash and goes. And water is gonna be your best friend. So, you know, we gotta make sure the hair is, you know, getting all that it needs. So I'm gonna go ahead and pump some in my hand. Right off the bat, it kind of looks like the, no, it doesn't look like the shampoo. It looks like a lotion type of leave-in. Not like um, like a heavy type of leave-in, but it's pretty like, like the lotion. Like a lotion, like um, Carol's Daughter, that's the first thing that came to my, my, my head. The Carol's Daughter lotion. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the gel. This is very liquidy. Like y'all see that? That's liquid. That's very liquidy. But we're just gonna apply it. First I'm gonna do the praying hands method. I'm trying something new. Um, I usually don't do the praying hands method. Y'all know I like to rake, but today we're just gonna try something new and then I'm gonna go in and rake my hair. Okay, I'm gonna put on my glasses because I can't see y'all. I really can't. Ooh, okay. We're getting some definition. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's looking okay. All right. I'm going to add a little bit more because I really want some definition in my hair. And this thing is very messy. This is very messy. The is definitely coming through on this. It's coming through on this. Like, it really is. Just a little afraid because I feel like my roots do get puffy pretty quick and I feel like if I predict correctly that I feel like my roots are going to be really puffy with this wash and go and that's something that I want to combat on so I don't want this to be I don't want it to be puffy um okay. so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish probably 75% of my hair, and then I'll come back and do the last section for you guys. All right, guys, so I am pretty much done. Um, <laughs> if I say I'm nervous, like to a T, I am nervous on this hairstyle. Like, I'm nervous. I'm cold because water is dripping on my body and I'm cold. But I am nervous how it's going to dry out because <sighs> it looks frizzy. Like, my. <sighs> I'm a definition type of girl, and I like my washing list to be pretty defined, but um, I don't know how I feel. I don't know, and a part of me is like, girl. Mm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna little air dry for a little bit, and then I'm gonna go in with a blow dryer. Just um, use a detached head or something, let it dry, and then I'll come back when it's fully dry. All right, guys, so I am back with my hair fully dried. Um, so this is how it dried. 
like I told you guys, I'm nervous. And I was right because the front part of my hair is pretty much, this hair looks like I'm on my day maybe five or six on like my bomb wash and go type. This is day two technically with this one and this looks like my day five or six with my normal wash and go. And um, I knew this was gonna happen because the way my hair was, the way it was wet, I was like, hmm, it's not defined. Like the ends were defining, but not the roots. And that's where I really wanted to get my roots defined. No. I think what happened was, is that since these aren't, like since these don't have silicones and stuff like that, these are glycerin based. Um, I feel like too much water so what I should have done was use less of the gel and use more of the leave-in and try to incorporate more water into um, to it just use a little bit less of the gel just to get my hair really defined with the leave-in and the water and then just apply the gel just because so I think next time when I use this product I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to obviously use the leave-in and the gel all together with water but I'm also gonna use like a second hard gel so either like wet line or eco styler I'll probably just use that but I will say the leave-in um the leave-in was okay I don't um when it comes to like leave-ins I don't really have much of an expectation um so it was okay for the $6.99 I wouldn't say it's like the best of the best but it does do what it should do it's kind of like a lotion type to me or like um like a hair milk um it's it does apply to your hair and I will say with my low porosity hair the gel definitely seeped into my hair the leave-in somewhat it took it a little while to really seep into my hair but I think once I applied the water to the leave-in it really kind of just kind of just worked its way into my strands but overall I would say these aren't terrible products they're just if you're looking for something to really last you the whole week this is not it especially the gel like the gel is a no-go for me um I will use it obviously because I brought it but I will use it with another gel just to make it just to make it like more defined um maybe I'll try with like me doing a twist out or washing not a wash and go again because obviously but either with a twist out or braid out I'll probably use these products again just to see to really give it a true test because I feel like the first test is always eh I feel like you have to do some multiple tests to really see how a product works. So, for my first impressions, um, the leave-in gets um, a 1 out of 5. It will get like a 3, 3.5. The gel, to me, will get like a 2, maybe a 1. It wasn't the best for me. Um, like I said, if you're using the gel, I feel like it's more so for, um, I need a quick definition, let me apply this gel. Um... But yeah, I wouldn't recommend if you're looking for something that's really going to hold your curls. Now, okay, I will say, like, when you look at the back of my hair, you see some definition. But the front of my head, no. So if you are looking for, like, a quick def definer gel, I would say get the gel. Leave-in, mm, it's up to you, really. So I hope that you guys like this review. Um... It was very interesting, and like I said, I was nervous, and I was right, because how my hair. But um, I am going to rock my hair like this. This is day four or five hair for me with my typical wash and go, so I am going to rock this. Um, I think it looks cute, but yeah. So I hope that you guys like this video. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe down below. Give me a go ahead and comment down below if you have used these products, or if you plan on using these products, or if you found this review helpful. Um, and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace, love, and stay beautiful.